What is it about blockchains that people are so excited about? And why should we care about Web3, the metaverse, and cryptocurrencies? I'm excited because at a time when objectivity, consensus, and democracy itself are all at risk, the democratizing potential of blockchains provides a singular opportunity, perhaps the first in human history, to create true meritocracies where the quality of ideas are met with the resources needed to innovate and solve real problems. What do I mean by this? Blockchains essentially function on the, promise, on the premise that there is power in numbers. Simply put, to build strong blockchains, you need participation of thousands of people around the world to allow their computers to store data on the chain. That is what we mean when we say decentralized, because no one person, company, or organization controls these blockchains. It exists through cooperation and collaboration of mostly well-intended people to create something new, useful, and valuable. As such, an ethos has developed within the Web3 community that champions the best ideas because you need to convince other people to support and grow your network. In this community, where people often communicate using apps like Discord, Telegram, and Twitter, most people don't even know what each other looks like or what each other sounds like, uh, often using an ape or a cartoon avatar as their profile picture. And in my experience, when people actually do get together at Bitcoin conferences or NFT conferences, What's most important is the quality of your ideas, how solid your plans are to achieve those ideas, and whether it matches with someone else's interests. Um, if so, <clears throat> people often start to collaborate, they share resources, and find ways to become successful together. Think about what that means for people from traditionally disadvantaged communities. A tremendous opportunity for personal and economic empowerment a chance to become creators versus consumers and founders versus followers, an opportunity to be at the forefront of what's coming and shape it rather than being subject to it. In addition to blockchains, we've been hearing a lot about the metaverse, <clears throat> which can be described as an immersive version of the internet, which is inclusive of augmented reality and virtual reality. These glasses, which look pretty ordinary to the, to the eye, are actually the first generation of smart glasses that were produced by Ray-Ban in partnership with Facebook. Future iterations of these glasses, which are also being produced by Apple and Samsung, will include augmented reality functionality that will enhance our daily world experience. Here's a short video that my, video, that my company compiled to illustrate what that world will look like. Here, using footage from a Chinese developer, you can see that while walking down the street, storefronts will be enhanced with customer ratings, information about products and services, and other visually stimulating content to encourage patrons to walk into stores. This will be possible through the glasses that we will see. In this example, when ordering food at a restaurant, you'll be able to scan a code and preview what dishes look like in augmented reality before deciding which item to buy. You can see the amazing detail here. Almost ready to eat, but not quite. It's actually just a digital version. <laughs> I wanted to eat it, but I couldn't. And here, there will also be digital versions of autographed memorabilia and collectibles sold as limited edition NFTs, which my company is the first to produce of its kind. NFTs allow content creators to create scarcity, where there's only 100, 10, or one of a particular item exists. If you can pause the video uh, for a second, please. So what does this mean for retail establishments and other consumer-facing businesses over the next few years? 
It means that in order to compete in this new technology environment, both within the metaverse and outside of the metaverse, you must be able to produce digital content that captures your audience. Simple web pages and Google map listings will not be enough once augmented reality eyewear becomes commonplace. Therefore, we must prepare micro businesses to understand these technologies and utilize them in order to compete in the marketplace ahead. Here are a couple of uh, recommended readings. If you have a phone, you can use this. Uh, you can move forward with the video. Uh, and there's also some information uh, about our company uh, on the next slide as well. So this is why I care about Web3 and the metaverse and cryptocurrencies, both for the opportunities they present and also because of our need to prepare for them. Of course, we should be very mindful of the negative aspects that some of these technologies can bring, which is why it's critically important that we participate. Our, voice, our voices must be present in the room to ensure equity in how these tools are being developed and also to ensure fair access to, so that we may all benefit from them. 